This morning, we take you to the Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument in Crow Agency. Now, understand this story is not about how the battle was fought or its origins, but instead, I recruited two of my friends to get a better understanding of the journey by Custer's soldiers as they embarked on their final destination. The Battle of the Little Bighorn, Custer's Last Stand, Battle of the Greasy Grass. However it is you've come to know it, it all ended the same way, with the Sioux, Northern Cheyenne, and Arapaho tribes defeating Lieutenant Colonel George Custer and his 7th Cavalry. It all played out here on what is now the Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument, about one hour east of Billings. It's such a uh, poignant story that seemed to intrigue people. So to get a better grasp on camp life and those last moments for Custer's cavalry, I recruited my friends, sisters Griselda and Jessica, to pretend to join the ranks of the United States Army. You will be making $13 a month. As they advanced towards the village, soldiers spent their nights two men to one pup tent with very little sleep Sometimes and most times consumed unappetizing food. It, you will find it is not particularly comfortable. It was do what you must to accomplish the mission and attack the tribes refusing to return to, to their you reservations. You watch movies, you read books, but you don't actually realize what it was like until you're in it. On the day of the battle, June 25th, 1876, temperatures soared into the 90s. Donning their thick wool uniforms, Custer and 210 of his men met their fate with an arrow, bullets, or a war club. All of the troops fighting with Custer in this area along the ridge are annihilated. Looking out over the vast landscape, visitors can picture the battle and imagine what it was like that very day. A lot of people are struck by the loss of life and kind of wonder in their own minds, was it worth it? Uh, is, should it have happened this way? One might find their park when they visit the site of one of the most famous battles in U.S. history. People who are interested in history, of course, will find this a very uh, exciting place to be. A very somber piece of America's past right there. On a daily basis, the battlefield offers ranger talks, a museum in the visitor center, and a bus tour operated by the Crow Tribe. On site is also, there's also a national cemetery for veterans. 